Good afternoon everyone and welcome to a new video on this channel. It is Wednesday the 10th of January 2024 and tonight we're heading down to Derbyshire. It is Chesterfield versus Gateshead in the National League. So it's been an almighty push to get here, but I have finally made it, which is the important thing. And uh, going into this evening's game, Chesterfield are, of course, top of the National League table. And uh, even at this stage, it's pretty tough to see how they don't, how they might, how they wouldn't win the league from this stage. Um, like, very formidable side, especially here. Like, they've not lost a home game all season. So it just shows you exactly what we're up against tonight but uh, yeah I mean I don't believe in free hits as such when it comes to league football but I think tonight you could possibly even draw an exception to that particular particular rule and uh, speaking of Gateshead we are in eighth place now in the National League table um, obviously dropped out of playoffs but obviously at the weekend had the weekend off as a result of um, Easily being in the third round of the FA Cup, and since that loss at York on New Year's Day, it's been uh, pretty mad changes at the club. Uh, Stephen Wern has left for MK Dons, and uh, Kyron Lofthouse, Billy Chadwick, and Archie May have been recalled from their loans, and uh, Elliot Forbes has obviously left, been released by the club. But uh, coming in, uh, you've got uh, Ben Werman, who's arrived from Irish side Cork City, has had uh, uh, has got football league experience actually with uh, Cambridge United uh, as well. Um, arriving today, you've had Jack Stott on loan from Middlesbrough. Um, in goal, uh, you've got uh, Eddie, Ed, 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 Eddie Eddie Beach, who's arrived on loan from Chelsea for the rest of the season. Um, some good news as well that uh, Mamadou Job's loan has been extended by Cambridge so it's good to have him at the centre of defence that's one's only until Valentine's Day but uh, hopefully we can get the one extended until the end of the season so yeah and, and as well still got quite a lot of injury concerns so um, quite a lot of change over the last few days and it just shows how quickly things can change in football but uh, you know what, I think uh, like tonight, anything we can get from this game tonight is just a bonus above anything, but I think if we can beat Weston in the FA Trophy on Saturday, um, I think given all the incoming tonight, I think that pr constitutes for a pretty good week really, so um, you, you never know, Like strange things have happened, uh, the National League's known for being a little bit crazy, so um, oh, another thing... Uh, Larakasani has been recalled from his loan from South Shields. Uh, Ollie Thompson's been recalled from his from Ashington. So, uh, so yeah, they're not as bare bones as we were at York, but still, uh, it's, it's going to be a tough task. But then again, as we said, strange things have happened, and uh, Chesterfield would definitely be fools to underestimate us. So, let's head into the stand here at the SMH Group Stadium and find out how it all unfolds. So that's where Chesterfield were warm enough. I think all the players have gone in now. Um, but of course they're going to be in a usual blue this evening. Uh, gates are getting ready just down here, of course, where I think we're going to be in our home kit, actually. Obviously you can't wear our away kit. Um, but anyway, then again, we could wear our third kit. So uh, 
to find out for sure when the players are coming out the tunnel and ready to start the match. Half-time Chesterfield Falkett said nil. Uh, it's brutal, unfortunately, really, isn't it? Uh, really, really uh, being humbled in this game so far. I mean, yes, uh, we're not playing well, and yes, sir, we've um, like maybe shown them a bit too much, too much respect and made like too many sloppy errors. But uh, I think one thing we can say is that this lot are absolutely streets ahead of anything else that I've seen us play so far this season. Uh, they've just so sharp. Uh, they've, they're like, normally, like when you watch us, we're, we're the ones dictating possession and that, but we just c cannot get near the ball just now. So uh, I think you've got to give a bit of credit to Chesterfield, obviously. Uh, you look at like at people's pre-season predictions like, at the start of the season, first place Chesterfield, first place Chesterfield, first place Chesterfield, and... Uh, there is a reason behind that. Obviously, last season they were the third best side behind, uh, like an absolute, an abs absolutely ridiculous Wrexham side, an absolutely, an absolutely ridiculous not side, and uh, they've just taken it up to another level this year. And uh, they're not like messing about in terms of trying to get out of this league. Um, so, like, I'm not going to lie, I kind of just want this game to be over. Uh, Put it down as a right off and move on as quickly as we possibly can, really. Because uh, yeah, as, as I said, um, this game was never going to be seen as defining. But yeah, uh, that was as brutal a first half as I think I've ever seen. 
Game. Three minutes. Full-time Chesterfield 5, Gates and Nil. Uh, sometimes you've just got to accept that the opposition were far better than you and uh, this is one of those occasions. But what I can say without any hesitation whatsoever is that I was proud to be part of that away end tonight. Um, we obviously went into this, that second half knowing it was game over but I just decided to make the best of a bad situation. I really hope that that um, support we gave the lads in the second half can be something that will maybe like give them at least some shred of confidence and a little bit of of, of a lift for them uh, going into uh, the weekend's game um yeah it was a, a tough night on the pitch a, a brutal a brutal introduction for some of the new lads but they will learn from this um like and, and um you know what it was probably the worst fixture we could have asked for in terms of uh, like bedding in new players and what have you I mean I, I said before the game I wasn't expecting anything anything we could get from the game would just be a bonus above all else I mean uh, yeah the manner of the scoreline is very disappointing and uh, there's no getting away from that but uh, then again we have just played against a side that would, would, would be sitting pretty high in League 2 I think uh, maybe even doing OK in League 1 uh, you look at it in the FA Cup this season they'd have beaten um, they've beaten Portsmouth beaten Leighton Orient uh, should have maybe got at least a draw off of uh, Watford at the weekend and uh, 
as we said uh, before the game, are very formidable on their home ground. Um, like even when they don't play well, they seem to find a way to get some kind of result out of a game. And uh, yeah, tonight uh, they were just too good for us. Um, like, and it's that straightforward, I'm afraid. Um, but we've got to move on, and we've got to like learn a lesson together. Um, and yeah, just take some positives because I think uh, I know Chesterfield maybe took the foot off the gas a little bit after the fifth goal, but. Uh, we got our passing game together and uh, some of it was actually decent stuff to be fair. So uh, we can maybe like, try and uh, pick the positive. I, mean, I know maybe nitpicking a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's, um, it's, it, we, we can't do anything for it right now. It's, 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 uh, it's, uh, it's over and done with. Uh, we've got to move on uh, to Western Supermare at the weekend, which um, it's going to be a banana skin. I know they're struggling a little bit in the National League South just now, where they've hit a bit of a bad patch of form since they beat Walking in the last round. But um, yeah, uh, I think like maybe that'll have made us even more determined to uh, go out on Saturday and uh, go all out to get us to. To, to, to uh, get a response so the, yeah the well done to Chessfield tonight um, I, I'm glad that that one's out of the way to tell you the truth um, like good luck for the rest of the season obviously other than when you come to play us at the International Stadium but that is that for this video and I'll be back of course on Saturday with that Gateshead versus Western Supermare game so until then take care cheers for watching see you later